check it off field events or help us report to those events. We will weigh any more implements in about 15 minutes. The check-in for your event will be at the starting line. That's where you'll get your numbers. The starting line of each event. If you have questions about that, you can see me under the red tent. Our silver sponsors, Gary Runlett, Linda and Charlie Eisheiser, Carrie Transitions of Greater Portland, AARP, and the Senior Planning Center. First call, 50 meter dash, women and men, check-ins at the starting line. First call, high jump, long jump, slash triple jump, javelin, shot put, and discus. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to introduce uh, perhaps my favorite person uh, in the track world. Uh, he is my mentor, he is my idol, uh, he is my coach. And thanks to him, uh, I was inducted in the first class of the Maine Senior Games Hall of Fame. My three national medals are thanks to this man. My bronze and my silver today are second and third to him. Roger Pierce, former world champion uh, from Massachusetts, uh, running for mass velocity. Roger, uh, I told you about my three national medals, but tell me, how many national and world medals do you have? Uh, world medals, I have 24. 15 of them are gold. Um, and I have um, 39 national championship medals and 19 U.S. records. And there are other ones, too. But but, but who's counting, of course? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my favorite story, after taking six in the 400 nationally, I come back to Maine to run in the 400 in 2001, 20 years ago this very minute. I look to my left, and there's a man in an outfit like this, and I, had, I ask him, have you ever run this race before? And he says, yes, I'm the world champion. I thought he did it to psych me out, but then he ran as fast as high school kids and beat me. Roger, you also won an award uh, last year or the year before called the Massachusetts Athlete of the Year Award. Uh, how, how do you get that award other than being a great athlete? You know, I didn't know. I was surprised. I, I run in the Bay State Games, which is a yearly thing, and it's open and masters and, and high school kids. And, um, you know, they, they pick the best <laughs> the best athlete, apparently. And uh, they, I was shocked out of all the kids and all the open athletes. They gave it to me, and I, I was really shocked at 75 to receive that award. So. Uh, I'm tickled with that, you know. I imagine folks being 75 years old and winning an award uh, of that magnitude. Uh, Roger, um, you uh, have been also on the cover of many magazines. Uh, if for some reason, uh, people consider you photogenic. I don't know why. I know, I know, uh, I know. But, but you've been on the cover of many magazines. Roger, but, but you also, uh, uh, being an inspiration, you also had uh, some surgery this year. You had a, a spine surgery. Yeah, I had spinal surgery um, uh, to relieve the, uh, well, it, um, they had to cut into the bone, the, the back, and uh, relieve the nerve pressure. And I had a hernia operation, too. You know, and so I'm just now recovering. I haven't really run in a year, you know, almost a year and a half. Um, uh, folks, uh, Roger's become uh, one of my best friends in life, and so we are in uh, frequent contact. So, Roger, um, I mentioned that I'm in the uh, Maine Senior Games Hall of Fame, uh, which I'm very proud, but you, sir, are in several halls of fame. Uh, tell us what, what, what you're in. And Beverly High School Hall of Fame. Um, I ran in 1962, that was my senior year, and uh, I'm really proud of that, you know. High school, that's really great to get that. And at Northeastern University, I was captain of the team, and, uh, and I, I was in the Northeastern University Hall of Fame. And, and the, the best one, I'm in the USA Track and Field Hall of Fame, and that's awesome. Well, uh, Roger, the other thing is your wife, Diane, uh, who uh, is shy, did not want to be interviewed. She's also a world-class runner, and today she won, what, two goals, three goals today? Yeah, she did. She uh, is running with a full right knee replacement at th <laughs> four years ago, which I don't know of anyone who's running with a full right knee, re or any knee replacement. And uh, she's in the Bryant 
College Hall of Fame. She was an All-American cross-country runner. Uh, she was third in the world and before she injured herself. She is an awesome runner, but she's very shy. She said, no, you can't talk about me, but I am. <laughs> she, she won the San Francisco, uh, no, she won the uh, Buffalo Marathon and was third in San Francisco. She's, she's an awesome woman, and I'm so happy to have her as my wife. And uh, Roger, uh, you uh, and she uh, were with my wife and I down in Albuquerque. We had the best time down there. We did. Uh, and I just wanted to tell you folks that I won the silver medal at the same time uh, that my grandson was hitting the state winning championship home run for Scarborough. We're on the Scarborough track right now. Roger, uh, before we close, I just want to ask you, do you see yourself in the national senior games like you and I saw in, in uh, Albuquerque running the 100 meter dash at 100 years old. That's the plan, you know. I want to make it to 100, and I want to break the world record in the 100 at 100. <laughs> That's the game plan, told my wife. So I got a little ways to go. I got, what, 23 years to go. Uh, uh, folks, imagine what it's like to have a friend like this. Uh, I've been doing this for 20 years, and one of my greatest inspirations is the man uh, standing right next to me. <laughs> In the 55 to 59 age group, the gold medal goes to Jennifer Miko and the silver to Diane Pierce. In the 60 to 64, the gold goes to Darcy Emerson, the silver to Rochelle Sipiora, and the bronze to Virginia Hazlitt. And in 65 to 69, the gold medal goes to Brenda Gowalski and the silver to Paula Farnell. Those women can pick up their medals here under the red tent.
Okay, I have another inspirational story. Uh, here we are at the main games, uh, main senior games, uh, doing um, interviews just like in the Olympics, which are happening right now. This inspirational story is about a dear friend of mine who is presently uh, the fastest old man in Maine. Uh, he has beaten me in every race, uh, but he is no longer in my age group. So today, uh, I took a silver and a bronze thanks to the fact that my friend Arthur Murray was not in the race. Arthur, welcome back. Good well, to see you. Yep, thank you very much. Yep. Uh, the story about Arthur is that Arthur had very serious uh, cancer a number of years ago, uh, and yet uh, still uh, competed. But now, and look who comes in here, uh, but still competed. Uh, and Arthur, uh, you are in now complete uh, cure. You're completely cured. Oh yes, yep. Cancer's gone. Has not come back in uh, yeah eight years now. It's been eight years. And Arthur, you've been competing. Have you been competing since high school? Uh, well, not really. Uh, the last meet I actually did with uh, I was in the Air Force. That was back in 1967, <laughs> and we ran at the University of Duke. I ran for Luke Air Force Base in yep. Arizona. Then from there we went to Nam, or oh, I went to Nam, and I did my time in the Air Force and all that. Went out, you know, went back home. I worked for two and a half years, and then I went Navy. Okay. And then, you know, I didn't start running again until uh, 2005. Right. And I didn't start competing until 2007. You know, that's when the coaches at Lewis and High School, you know, saw me running, <laughs> and they. You know, finally talked me into competing. Right. They, wanted, they wanted to put you on the high school team because, ladies and gentlemen, Arthur, when he uh, competes in the 100, the 200, the sprints, he actually runs as fast uh, as some high school kids. That's how fast he's running. And today you won gold in the 100, yep. gold in the 200. Yes. Uh, and uh, he managed to uh, beat a man I'm about to interview next, uh, the world champion, Roger Pierce. Uh, Arthur, I used to tell people I was the fastest old guy in Maine, and then you had to come along and beat me. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you how proud I am to have you as part of the Maine Senior Games. And folks, uh, I have begged uh, Arthur to come down to the Nationals next year so I can put him on my re relay team so I can win another medal in the Nationals. That's how badly I want Arthur to come. Arthur, uh, do you feel that you are running right now at your best, even in view of your, in, uh, your, your uh, past condition? Well, I'm trying to do the best I can. You know, <laughs> You know, with what I've got. I mean, I've been through three knee operations. I've had my gallbladder taken out, and you know, and you know, with the cancer and all that stuff. And I'm just doing the best I can do. Well, so Arthur, we pretty much can consider you uh, like the movie, The Bionic Man. Arthur Murray, thank you so much. Uh, and this is my story about Arthur Murray on me on Five about Maine and its people.
Okay, folks, I'm with uh, Kelly and Claire Ryan, whose names I've mixed up a couple times because they just came off a race. Uh, but this story is one of the best Maine Senior game stories we have. My dear friend, you had a medical episode a number of years ago, did you not? I did. In uh, April of 2017, I had a major stroke. And, uh, but you came back. You, you've come back. After a lot of rehab at Maine uh, General, uh, inpatient and outpatient, and working on my own in my home gym, I've regained uh, function in my left side. Um, pretty, pretty nearly complete, completely recovered. Well, the the inspirational part about this, uh, uh, folks, is that uh, 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 Joe Dill, who runs the Maine Senior Games, said that he was inspired uh, to come back and and run this event. Claire, uh, you're the supportive wife. Uh, did you help him through it a lot? You know, he had all the motivation when he got uh, just had a couple of weeks after his stroke and he started physical therapy. His major treatment goal was to participate that summer in the Maine Senior Games, and he made it. Um, uh, what's in so inspiring is that we're, we're watching the Olympics and we're watching these athletes that have had injuries. Uh, and you, my dear friend, uh, you had an injury. What events do you do? I do all three throwing events, uh, shot put, discus, and uh, javelin. And, and, uh, but you're not originally from me, you're from Oakland now, right? Uh, but originally from where? We uh, originally from the Midwest. Uh, we moved here six years ago from South Dakota. Now, <clears throat> I was born in Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, Claire is originally from Montreal. <laughs> if you're following all this, and? we met when we were both residing in South Dakota, uh, married, and um, 
Upon retirement, we moved here six years ago to join two of our children here in Maine and, and grandchildren. Okay, and, and uh, what events uh, do you do? I, I just told me what events you did, but um, uh, what is your age? That's what I meant to ask. I'm 71 years old. <laughs> He's 71, folks, and let's face it, uh, even if you do a close-up on this man, he looks 51. Uh, seriously, when he came over, uh, I thought, I almost said to myself, you cannot be in the main senior games, you're too young. Uh, what an inspirational story. I want to thank you folks so much, and I look forward to seeing you both at many senior games to come. Thank you. Thank you, Derry. Okay. Hello and welcome back to Me on Five. I hope you enjoyed my show with Jamie Logan. I call it Jeopardy Jamie, uh, double winner on Jeopardy. Uh, but uh, well, we're switching gears here, uh, doing the main senior games, part one. Uh, I'm just so proud, ladies and gentlemen, to have been inducted in the main senior games uh, to 2015 Hall of Fame. A uh, member of the first class of inductees, uh, probably the greatest honor I've ever received in my life, next to the legendary lawyer award. But with me 
is the person that I consider responsible uh, for my success here in the Maine Senior Games. Uh, she's like a coach to everybody on, uh, on these teams, uh, not just track and field where we are today, but everything, basketball, softball, uh, any, any bowling, golf, whatever sport you want to pick. Joe, you are without question the best executive director in the country. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Jerry. And, and Joe, how many athletes do you think we have here today for the track? I think we had about 105. Oh, my goodness. That's a, a pretty good year. Yes, a great year. A yeah. great year. Yeah. And uh, would that be because this is a qualifying year for the Nationals? I think. A, it's qualifying, but also B, we didn't have anything last year, right. and I think people are really anxious to get out again. Uh, Joe, uh, I mentioned that you've been the executive director for uh, a good at least half of my games. How many years have you been the executive director? This is my 14th. The 14th year. Folks, I've got to tell you, I loved it before Joe came in, and then when she came in, she changed the whole process. How many different sports, approximately, do we have for the main senior games? Well, we have uh, 22 days of events, so probably 20 events. 20 events. So, uh, folks, I'm going to take my camera crew to a few of the other events. But, Joe, one of the things that I want to say on camera is that I had the opportunity to watch you play basketball uh, against uh, uh, the toughest team I think I've ever seen. Folks, if you're watching the, Oly uh, the Olympics, you're watching three-on-three -three women's basketball. The United States team won it. And the thing they made clear to tell people was how rough it was. And, Joe, I could not believe how you folks were being thrown around by those people. Were they from Arkansas or something? Yes. Yes. I guessed it right. Yes, I think one of the teams was, was Arkansas, yeah. And, folks, I've got to tell you, they, we, we, uh, you have a player that I consider to be one of the best I've seen all time. She's a guy. What's her name? The shoots uh, the little short woman. Linda. Linda, yes. And, folks, they were trying to throw her around, but she wasn't putting up with it. <laughs> uh, and did you, did you folks uh, uh, take a place in that particular uh, uh, event? Not that year. But you did before. We have, uh, last year we got uh, silver in, in our age group. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, I'm going to tell you, to get silver medal at the Nationals, it's not just a few teams. It's like d dozens of teams. Uh, Joe, uh, do we think that uh, most of the people that have come back here uh, to these events, many of them, uh, the, the, the story is that many of them have recuperated from some injuries. You brought uh, two of them uh, to me today, but a lot of these people have been injured and they recuperate and come back to these games. Right, right. Many, many have had uh, strokes and surgery and knee replacement, hip replacement, and it keeps them going. The main senior games, the games, the, the, their sport keeps them going. It, keep, it helps them recover, knowing that they have a goal to work for. And, and you know, uh, Joe, the reason why this is such a fascinating story is because the front page news story today in the country, ladies and gentlemen, in the whole world, is Simone Biles dropping out because of what she considers to be her mental health. And, uh, uh, Joe, can we agree that uh, Simone Biles has set the bar for people to realize that if you're an athlete, you can recover. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. She's, she's an amazing athlete, and I respect her for what she did. So, Joe, we don't have gymnastics because <laughs> <laughs> I cannot imagine myself doing a vault or any of that things, but I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, one of my fun things uh, today was to go stand on the podium, and I actually said, the Derry Runlet Show, and I had forgotten that I sponsor one of the one of the podiums. So my promise to you, Joe, is that as long as I'm around, I will sponsor one of those podiums. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, Joe. Appreciate it. Okay.